knockout, the correct knockouts for the tamper switch. And in a standard 8103 enclosure, um, they will be in the upper right hand corner of the enclosure and it's a three hole pattern that you're knocking out. So the ones that are closest to the back of the enclosure, I'm going to go ahead and knock those through and then the one up here. Of course those leave little metal tabs that you have to then take your pliers and remove. And so you get your pliers in there and grab them. And then just break them off. We're going to take this piece first and you're going to insert the two nuts that come with this hardware pack and you're putting them right into the slots that hold those in place. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take off the mounting plate that is on the back of this tamper switch. So the tamper switch just simply slides on this plate. You're going to remove the plate completely put your tamper switch down. This is what we're going to mount inside of the enclosure which will then hold the tamper switch. Take this and we put it up into the enclosure where it's going to rest or reside there and you just hold it into place with one finger. Take your other hand and bring up your assembly that has the nuts already installed there and we're going to take that and slide it in place over all right, there we go over the mounting plate okay so we slide that all the way to the back and that basically lines up our nuts in the back for these two screws we then insert the screws into the knockouts that we've already pre-done and you can start those a little bit by hand just to get them started. Okay. Once they're started you can let it go. You're now going to take your screwdriver and you're going to start to secure those screws. So we tighten those down just snug. You don't have to go overboard on those. Two screws, that's it. Snug them up a little bit. Okay. We're then going to reach underneath and you're going to remove that plastic piece that was holding the nuts. So just take your fingers and pull it towards you. Okay, that comes out. The nuts are now secured on there with the screws. The mounting plate is now mounted. Take your tamper switch that you have and you're going to slide that in place over the mounting plate and then you would just adjust your door tamper part. Um, the uh, switch itself already goes through the back of the enclosure for the wall tamper and you're pretty much done. So if you'd like, um, you can use the, the screw and the little plastic uh, piece here. And what this allows you to do is secure this to the wall in which this is going to be mounted to. Um, this will then insert itself into that pre-existing hole there and just give you uh, a solid surface for that um, back tamper switch to, to work off of. Bosch. Invented for life.